Welcome to an Artful Acorn video tutorial. Today I'm going to demonstrate the null bending Oslo stitch. I've pre-threaded a bone needle with two yards of wool roving. In this case it's Patton's Classic. And I'm going to take the tail and create starting loops by wrapping the working yarn twice loosely around my left index finger. I pinch those loops transfer them to my left hand and take my needle, bringing it up from the back, pivoting it down to the left, to the back again, and back up through the space. And that creates a figure eight on the needle where I'm going to plant my thumb. So I'm trying to achieve a V shape here with the needle and my thumb. The yarn always goes down in between. To form the stitch, we're going to push the needle through and bring it down to the right and there's the first stitch on the back of my thumb. I'm going to pick up one of the starting loops by pushing my needle away from it, pivoting and then coming under the loop on my thumb and the working yarn, slipping my thumb out and pushing it back up. We're back to that V shape with the yarn down in between push the needle and bring it back down to the right again. Now the loop that was previously on my thumb is now behind my thumb and that's the one that I'm going to pick up with my needle. Pushing it away, pivoting, going under the working yarn and the loop, slipping my thumb out, and putting it back up again. There's that V shape, yarn in between, push and pull. There's that previous loop, go away, pivot, under, under, thumb out, thumb up, push, and pull. Away, pivot, under, under, push, and pull. As each stitch elongates the tail, you can see the previous loops line up. Once you get some muscle memory for this stitch, it'll go quite quickly. Picking up and drawing through. You can work a chain until it's as long as you need. Perhaps for the bottom of a hat or the wrist of a mitten. At that point, the chain can be joined in the round and worked in a coil. And this is what the chain would look like. Thank you for joining me.